I am back with terrific Tony because I've seen that you are pretty <laughs> terrific, and uh, and you are uh, one of the leaders who do care about you know, especially a, a population that's in need of being cared for, you know, even now. So, yeah. but with respect to that, you know, influencers come in all different sizes, shapes, colors, you know, where mm -hmm. they're from, whatever. And sometimes they come for a second at the right time. And sometimes they come yeah. for a long time. So could you share with yeah. us a little bit, maybe there's a couple um, of people that influence your life? Mm. Sure, absolutely. Um... You know, I have to say that my mother, and this is not to say that my parents, my father had an influence on me in a big way. And then there's my mother. And uh, my mother, oh my God, I don't even know how to describe it because, you know, there was many years where I was so honored to be her daughter <laughs> just because of who she was and who she stood for. She was all about the community. She was all about education and empowerment. And I realized that now that I am, you know, we won't say how old or young. You're vintage. <laughs> I, I realized, that, that's right, it's the vintage. <laughs> but I realized that I literally, that DNA trans, trans, transcended to me because I, I am my mother. And uh, in a different way, you know, we were completely different in a lot of ways, but at the end of the day, she had a huge influence on me because it was all about empowerment. And her thing was empowering the African-American community because at the time we were just being hammered and she wanted to make sure that we understood our history, how grand it was and how amazing it was. She wanted to make us understand what was going on politically as well as, you know, uh, culturally. So, I grew up with this and I didn't realize how much of an impact it was going to have on me today. Right. So today I am like so grateful that I had a mother who, who influenced me and who educated me about this thing, this life, this life thing. And from all perspectives, you know, from a political perspective, Oh my God, we used to think my mom was, we'd be like, yeah, yeah, whatever she's talking about, you know, <laughs> She used to watch Rush Limbaugh because she wanted to know what they were up to, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, this, she had a huge influence on me, to say the least. That's now, uh, second person, I would say there's a gentleman by the name of uh, George Quant, and he's made his transition, but he taught me uh, a form of meditation he and Deepak Chopra, I met Deepak Chopra through George Kwan. And I have to tell you, that was way back in the early, I would say the late 80s. And he taught me how to meditate, formally meditate. And I have been using that form of meditation ever since. It's a quantum uh, uh, primordial sound meditation. Mm -hmm. And it had a huge impact on my life because mm -hmm. I meditate every day and when I don't I can feel it and I can tell and so you know that really tuned me into my spirituality if you would and that's had a huge impact on my life and like I said earlier uh, my daily routine is that I have to get up and I work on myself and part of that work includes meditation so that's a couple people that's having a huge impact on my life yeah, I love that. It, it all sh and it shows us always that um, in one way or another, we're influencing people all the time, and we should um, we should think about it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you so absolutely. much for sharing that. That's awesome. Sure. Thank you. It's my pleasure.